In a world where mosquito repellents can't repel mosquitoes, why do haters think that the drag queen repellent prayer would work? Yes, you heard me right. Anti-LGBTQ and hatred toward drag queens in a small town outside of Fort Worth is under the spotlight in the season three premiere of HBO's We're Here. The episode opens with the Hood County Democratic Chair Adrian Martin threatening to attack the camera crew and bring rotten eggs after a rumor spread that the drag queens would be in the 4th of July parade in Granbury. Well, the queens appeared in the parade anyway and waved and flaunted pride flags like it was nobody's business. What are we all talking about? Crazy ass people. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Crazy ass people. And to see us, even the Democratic Party, too. Oh my God. Like, these people are crazy. They're crazy and they hate us and they don't even have a problem. You know, like, there was a time in life where if you were racist or if you had a bunch of hate on you, if you saw a camera, you would shut up because yeah. you wouldn't want that posted everywhere. Yeah. Now the Karens and the Kens of the world don't give a crap. They I will like just, the right? <laughs> They will just yeah. sit there and spew hate and, and be recorded and not care. And it's like, whatever. And the the the, the mm -hmm. problem I'm having is that these are f physical altercation. Like, it, it's equating to physical violence yeah. now. Yeah. Um, yeah. What did uh, we learn that they... Uh, they were sneaking in to take personal pictures of their personal information. Of their stuff. Of like, like, they just, yeah. Like, they were looking to see, like, where, like, on set, you know, there's always, like, a spot where you can, like, put your stuff at or whatever yeah. it is. And there were people trying to sneak in to try to get some pictures to try to use against them in some way. I mean, like, these are, like, some nasty, shady ass people you know and i'm thinking about like our drag queens and like their safety and their safety their safety they're filming a freaking show look at shangela is like like you like 100 pounds right. wet with a brick in her pocket you know and it's like i mean it's scary times it is it is i love the show have you watched it the last couple of I seasons I, I i love we're here i it's it's there to bring you know awareness that you know, drag queens, homosexuals, LGBTQ plus QIA community, we're human. Yeah. And here we go with the crazies. And in my perspective, these are the non-human beings attacking, yeah. you know, or trying to dehumanize what? Some 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 fluff, some songs, <sighs> some entertainment. You know, and if you watch happiness. We're, happiness. And if happiness. You, if you watch We're Here, these three incredible uh, Brave. Drag, drag queens, Brave, Brave. Eureka, Brave. who is now in recovery, Shangela, and who else? Who's the third one? Oh, uh, who's side voice? Bob the drag queen. Bob, Bob the drag Bob. queen. Three incredible, sorry, Bob, incredible, sorry. incredible, incredible, yeah. top of the line drag queens. And you know, countless times I'm crying, I'm bawling because yeah. like they're going to these small towns where LGBT is not prominent, where they don't have a gayborhood there, right? right? And then they'll go and they'll help somebody in our community to really come out or to really mend the relationship with somebody in their family or just do something to to make their visibility more, you know, in places like this where it's not accepted. And the, the funny part is this is just outside of Fort Worth, Texas, which has a gayborhood and has a gay population because Fort Worth is this twin city sister to um, sister um, city to Dallas. Dallas, where it has like that street, right? Yeah. That neighborhood or whatever yeah. that's all gay. Yeah. So it's not like this is foreign to these people and you can't lean on God or the Lord because, you know, we've been having evangelicals come out in favor of gay marriage and, and gay this and gay that. So what is your excuse or what is your, what do you lean on all of this hatred, all of this violence? What, where do you lean? I lean on that they don't have no soul and they're just crazy ass people. Plain and simple. Hashtag crazy ass people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think they have a soul either. You can't go to sleep at night and just be all wrapped up and go, oh, Jesus loves me. I love Jesus. This is a wonderful world when you have that much hate in your soul. Right. That's it. Plain and simple. Mm -hmm. All right. So girls, be careful out there. All right. I mean. No, seriously. Listen, but, no, seriously. but, okay, but we, we've been talking about this seriously. off camera too, about how crazy it is. Um, last week, right. It was like Wednesday or Tuesday. Uh, you know, we live in South Florida and there's a neighborhood here called, you know, Wilton Manors, and there was someone flinging a gun around in front of alibis oh, last week. Wow. I yes. Didn't, I didn't hear yes, about that. Yes. Just, you know, then they couldn't find him. And I mean, this is the kind of stuff that we are dealing with right now. People are invading our little neighborhoods thinking that they can because hate is out there and hate is on TV and they see the, the Tucker Carlson's and, okay. and they, say, they say it's okay to pay okay. us. And uh, I think a week and a half ago, CeCe Glitzer, you know, CeCe, yes. Uh, yes. 
got poor the, a twist. A she twist. Got, she, so she somebody seen attacked it. her when she walked out, and she wasn't even the person who um, the attack was intended for. Yeah. I think the bouncer told a guy he couldn't come in yep. because of. And then the person came back and had something in his hand and threw it and at threw her. Threw it at her. Can you imagine if that would have been? And it got all over everything, acid or bleach. Can you imagine? Or it could have been anything. It could have been anything. anything. And yeah. thank goodness Cece is okay. Our thoughts are with you. We love you, Cece. Um, when I heard that story, I was blown away as well. Like that was just horrific. Listen, if you see something, say something. Okay. If you go out with your folks, just stay attentive, you know, keep attention, be alert, be yeah. aware. Okay. We're under attack. That's the final thing. Yeah. You need to just know that. Yeah. All right. So did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.